um, my name is Margaret Ward and I'm the founder of Women on Air. I was a journalist for 25 years, uh, investigative journalist for the Irish Times, Sunday Times and News Talk. Perfect. And how have you found um, today's conference so far? Yeah, I was here yesterday as well and I think it was extremely thought-provoking and it's great to see so many people from all over the place. Um, you know, we have people from Queen's University with a guy from Argentina, so we're getting a much bigger viewpoint, which is really important because I don't think the Irish media tends to look outside of itself. Yeah. as much as it should, so I think it's been really good. Do you think Irish people do tend to um, look inwards mm. first, and although you're much better than the United States, and yeah. looking outside, you know, Irish people are extremely well read and they're always looking at international news. I think that there is, um, and we did see this during the financial crisis, yeah. is that very few reporters and journalists would look at what the foreign media was saying. Mm. So when I was doing a news program, a news talk, I would insist that we had a lot of our foreign newspapers, and I think we were one of the only uh, organizations that was doing that. I'd say, well, what is the Financial Times saying? You know, what is yeah. the Economist saying? What, what is the Wall Street Journal saying? We need, we need a much bigger uh, viewpoint in Ireland, I think, if we're going to compete, you yes. know, but also if people here are going to understand what's going on, we need to let them know, well, that's not what they're saying in Wall Street. Well, when Enda Ken Kenny said something here, and then he went to New York, he said something completely different. So it's our responsibility to report what's being said abroad as well as what's being said here. So I need, I do think we need to have a bigger worldview. To keep that connection, that Absolutely. communication up between outside the boundaries. And you mentioned um, in your speech that um, American journalism had kind of a, a stronger basis in terms of education. Um, and do you feel how we have we caught up now in recent times, or do you, do you think it it's a, a, still out? Uh, the uh, American professional journalism education has a longer history. So yeah. it was founded in the 1900s, yeah. where in Ireland it was only founded in the 1960s. Yeah. Um, I think the education here in terms of journalism is still lacking. Yeah. I think that there's not enough emphasis on new tools and technologies of our trade. Um, there's not, you know, maybe we're stuck a little bit too much in the past. Yeah. Uh, I think there needs to be more emphasis on critical thinking, pulling apart studies and statistics, not accepting what you're being told by PR people, and also a big understanding of your duties as a journalist. You know, I think you have to be the outsider. It's, you know, you shouldn't be a political journalist for 20 years and go play golf with the people you're reporting on. And I think that that's a big failing of Irish journalism, is that we're not moving people around on their beats every two or three years, and maybe that that's not taught enough at university level as well about how important it is not to get stuck in the lives of your sources because you need to be able to be impartial to report on them. So, yeah, it's an issue. I actually worked in PR myself and it's actually interesting to see how much of Irish journalism is made up just from the stuff that we push out. Yeah. You know, it's done studies. It's something like 80%. Yeah. yeah. You know, 70 to 80%. And is that good enough? I mean, are we journalists or are we just rewriting press 100%. releases? But a lot of that is down to pressure um, in the media, the proprietors, Definitely. you know, the not the amount of space that you actually have to fill um, is extremely difficult. You know, when I started in the Irish Times, I was only expected to work on a few articles a week, and I had a lot of time to do investigative journalism. But now I think it's more like the United States, where people have to crank out, you know, five, six, seven articles a day. You can't crank out five, six, or seven quality articles a day. It's just impossible. So, as we said before, I mean, we're not experts on these sorts of things. We can't be experts on everything. And the thing is, we can't be. Yeah. Journalists need to be experts at asking the experts. Experts the right questions. Yeah, that's our job. We're and not adapting. experts and adapt. So whatever you have to report on, you don't know about it. Go find out about it. Get a number of voices to give you an angle on this, so that you understand it. Don't just rely on a handful. We need to constantly expand our source pool in terms of who we're talking to, what angle they have, and understand do they have any vested interest in this? That means that they're not a good source. And we need to push outside of ourselves a lot more. I think we can be very complacent in Ireland in terms of journalism. That's fantastic. Thank you so much My for that, pleasure. Margaret.